Situated on the ground floor of the complex is the shrine of Mother Kuan Yin, the ultimate goddess of mercy and compassion. Kuan Yin's father, the emperor, was a very irreligious man and quite opposite in nature to his compassionate daughter. She was sent by her father to a monastery. The monks there were clearly instructed to give her an utmost discompassionate treatment. It is said that during her presence in monastery, the surrounding areas became alive with nature and greenery. Later, while living a life of exile, Mother Kuan Yin let go of her arms and eyes to monks who were preparing a medicinal potion to treat her ailing father. An act of ultimate mercy and sacrifice. Mother Kuan Yin earned the status of Avalokiteshvara, the attainment of Buddhahood. I performed the rituals myself, carefully observing the rules. The standard offering involves two red candles and nine incense sticks wrapped in two pieces of paper. The candle and incense is offered to the deities. The golden parchment is burned, taken around the god for three times, while the silver parchment is offered for maternal and paternal ancestors. A visit to a Chinese temple is never complete without remembering your ancestors. Here in the Kuang Kung Temple, we see images of Brahma, Shiva, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Kuan Yu, Bodhisattva and Avalokiteshvara. The idea of compassion and drama is essential to the art of religious storytelling. The idea of surprise and curiosity is essential to the art of traveling. Who would have thought that a hidden Chinese temple in a forgotten South Bombay lane would open a chest of mythological and philosophical treasures. I'm glad this was on my list. But is it on your list too? <laughs>